<coughs> Thank, Thank you, you, President. My adjournment matter is to the Minister for Police and it concerns funding for the Youth Crime Prevention and Early Intervention Project. Last week I had the great privilege to meet the amazing team at the Youth Crime Prevention and Early Intervention Project. This project is making a difference, keeping children and young people in the inner west from that initial contact with the criminal justice system, which we know can lead to a lifetime of adverse outcomes. It does so by using police cautions and diversions for minor offences and linking those young people with the Youth Services Coordinator to assist them to access the supports they need to stay on the right side of the law. <clears throat> the project was founded by Angus Woodward of, from West Justice and Steve Turner, a Victoria Police Sergeant working the beat in Melbourne's inner west. They were both frustrated by the traditional approach to youth crime which criminalised too many children and young people while failing to address the factors that might influence these young people to commit, cr commit crimes in the first place. Most of their clients are overrepresented in the criminal justice system, including young members of the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander community, African Australian, Maori and Pacifica communities, as well as children in residential care. The multidisciplinary team operate out of the Visey Care Club Hub in Sunshine. Having legal assistance and youth coast services operating out of one site is critical so that kids can get their timely support rather than being referred to somewhere else to meet with support services in a couple of months' time. The project has led to a drop in the number of arrests and court appearances and has reduced crime rates of recidivism. Evaluations of the project have been overwhelmingly positive and it enjoys strong support from key stakeholders, including Victoria Police, who frankly love it. Funding for the project runs out in May, so the team are seeking money to continue operating out of the current site, as well as funds to expand the project to four more sites across the state. This is money well spent. The reduction in court costs and use of police resources alone more than covers the cost of funding the project. I would like to thank Angus Woodward, Sergeant Steve Turner, Chantel Giannotti and Ellie Sarur for their time. This is the sort of good news story we need in the western suburbs and I urge the Minister to support this fantastic project. Thank you.